Welcome to B&B RV. We're at 6960 Smith Road in Denver, Colorado. You can reach us at 303-322-6013. We're going to look over our Freelander today. This is a Coachman Freelander 22 QB. Tip to tip, this thing's 24 feet long. <coughs> it has a slide out here in the living room. This first compartment is just access to your generator. And then we've got a couple of just uh, storage doors which will show you the big storage on the other side. Over here we've got a cable outlet. So if you're going to plug in a cable at the campground, regular fuel here, two places to hook up your water hose. So your water hose is going to hook up to the campground. If you hook it up here, you just have pressurized water to the RV. If you hook it up here, that's where you're going to refill your onboard water. So this one will refill, this one will not refill your onboard water. So when you go to refill, just hook it up here. There is a gauge inside that will show you how full it is. Also, this will run out underneath. It just has an overflow that will overflow and run out when that gets full. Down here underneath is your dump. So when you get ready to dump, you've got two valves. You've got a black valve and a gray valve. So you're going to take this cap off, your uh, dump hose is stored right here in the bumper. You bring your hose up, put it on where this cap is, put the hose into the drain, pull this black valve all the way out. That'll allow the uh, toilet to dump. The black tank is a toilet. Let that dump. When it's done, close the black valve and then open the gray valve. The gray valve is for your sinks and shower. That's soapy water, it'll kind of rinse that out for you when you're done. And then you can unhook your, close those up, unhook your hose, and you'll bring your hose and put it back here in the bumper. This is where your hose is stored right here. The electricity for this unit's right here in the back. So there's two ways to have electricity, by the generator or by plugging in at the campground. The generator outlet is right here in this one, so when your cord is inside the compartment, plug it into that generator outlet. Unplug it here, plug it in at the campground. When you leave the campground, you put your cord back in. Be sure that when you put the cord in, you plug it into the outlet, or you won't have power when you start your generator. There's two access doors to this back storage, huge storage compartment. The spare tire is located in here. If you ever did need that, it's just accessible that way. There's a ladder to get on the roof, but we get on the roof every time it comes and goes. You don't want to get on the ladder. It's not a patio. It's very slippery when it's wet. Unless it's an emergency, we don't want you up on the roof. This is the large door for the back storage. So we have all kinds of storage in this one. These doors have a little latch here. This little latch will hold the doors open for you. In this big storage compartment, you're going to have, when you come to pick up a rental, you're going to have some blocks in there. You're going to have a hose for your water because it's an RV hose. They're lined so they don't taste like hose. And with those blocks, they're for leveling. So if you park somewhere that's not level, you can drive up on those blocks to get level. And we'll have a level inside for you to be able to do that with. On this outside, there is an outlet here, so if you're plugged into electricity, you have your generator on, you'll have electricity on this outside. This is an access panel, <coughs> excuse me, access panel to your propane. So if you do need to uh, refill the propane, it's all built into the RV. You can go to a truck stop, campground, U-Haul, any place that has propane, they fill it for you, it's not self-serve. Some of these units, like this one, is your hot water heater and your furnace. Those will get hot if you're using those, so just be careful if you have kids around on the outside. This is just a small storage compartment here. And on the door, you're going to have a lock for the handle and a lock for the deadbolt. On the inside, you also have those same locks for the handle and the deadbolt. A little handle to separate the screen and a way to close off the screen door. Right inside the door, on this unit, we have um, the main control for your batteries, so this is going to be on. You want to leave that on the whole time for your trip. You'll have a couple of light switches, one for inside and one for outside. It makes it easier to get in and out. And then you have an awning, an in and out for your awning. You just press this out 
It's an electric awning. It'll automatically go all the way out and then all the way back in. Do not leave that awning out. If you are in any kind of windy situation, don't put it out. If you're gonna leave the RV, make sure it's in. That awning will tear right off. Two buttons for your pump and your water. Water pump, water heater. Anytime you want onboard water, have the pump on. That's for your sinks, your shower, your toilet, any water that you're gonna use on board. The water heater takes about 15 minutes or so to get hot. You have a slide out in this specific unit. So you're just gonna have an in and an out button for the slide, press the out button, and the slide will slide out, giving you a lot more living space in this unit. Just hold down the button until it gets all the way out. Once it's all the way out, then you can let go of the button. You'll have a generator here. The only thing you need your generator for is your microwave and your air conditioner. Or if you're going to use outlets for a 110 unit, a uh, hairdryer, toaster, anything that you're bringing around, plug in. Um, so just hit start and stop, hold down the start, and you just hold down that start button until your generator starts, and that'll give you electricity. There's an hour meter to keep track of how many hours we've used on the generator. And again, the electricity for the generator, the only thing you need it for is your microwave and your air conditioner. And you shouldn't use your microwave and your air conditioner at the same time. The little buttons across the bottom here are for all of your gauges. So you've got propane and your lights are gonna light up up here. So you've got propane and your battery and your fresh water and your black water and then an auxiliary that this doesn't have. Um, so that's all your gauges. You can keep track of everything that's happening with your uh, tanks and gauges, your propane, your water, your batteries. Now let's take a look up here at the cockpit of this unit.